Seriously, probably one of the coolest effects I've ever seen on a carousel module. A few weeks ago, Divi Gear reached out to me about reviewing a carousel plugin. Divi Gear is a company that makes third party extensions and third party themes and plugins for the Divi Extra any the elegant themes things. A carousel, if you don't know, is one of those things, it's like a slider, but you can like flip through it and it makes all sort of cool little animations. A lot of times it can be uh, used for creating a lot of cool mini micro engagements on your website, which is what we talk about on this channel a lot. Also makes it look cool, like it's like an Apple thing. People wanna get in on all the Apple websites since they're like, give me a carousel, why not? Let's make it go ring around the rosy, put some stuff in, maybe make people like it. People love the carousel, but they often look very similar. What Divi Gear has done is it has taken your regular kind of slider theme and it's added a few extra options to give you more control over your carousel module but it also makes it look really cool. There are a few really cool effects that we'll get into today. Now, how does this plugin help you? Well, it makes your website look a lot more modern and sleek, which builds trust, but also it provides the opportunity for micro engagement. So as people are flicking through, it allows people to get that aha moment that makes them want to stay on a site longer and interact and engage with you more. So having something that will take your carousel game up a little bit, is always very helpful and this plug actually does a really good job and as always today's video is sponsored by nike just do it so let's dive into the divi carousel module made by divi gear let's take a look at the carousel and then we will download it install it and customize it and i'll show you some cool layouts too so here's divi gear like i said this is a company that makes third-party plugins and third-party layouts for other divi websites so the one we want is up here in products and it is the carousel module. So we're just gonna click that. Now what we wanna do here is we wanna go in here and view the demo so we can see what this will look like once it's fully built out, right? Here's the plugin in action. And as you can see, you get different effects than you usually get with a slider. It's kind of a 3D effect. It's kind of rotating the off-site images and it just looks really cool in 3D, kind of like the cover flow that iTunes used to do, right? When it came out, you could flip through the albums. We're gonna scroll down a little bit more. So here's another example of some of the carousels in action. This is my favorite right here. This uh, is like a double carousel. So you get these images on the right sliding and then you get these images on the left sliding. Might be a little confusing if you go like overboard on that, but if you do it subtly, I think that's a really effective carousel for a micro engagement on your site. A couple other ones, there's a logo tree. There are some more tiles and panels. And then here is kind of a cool, you could use this as like a cool pricing table. The best thing is that you can actually download these layouts. So let's say you really liked this one right here. You just click download this demo and it'll download right to your Chrome or wherever you have it right there. And we can open it up later, import it, and it'll look exactly like this screen that we picked out. So very cool and, and very nice of them to provide the layouts for those demos. Saves you a lot of time to get looking good really fast. After you view the demo, you can choose to buy either a one site license or unlimited sites. If you checked it out and you think this is cool, I would spend the extra, what, $15 and go with unlimited. You never know when you're gonna need it, right? So we'll choose an option here. Let's do unlimited site. We'll do buy now. You go to proceed to checkout. You'll put in all your information here and then you'll place your order and you will automatically be able to download the plugin and insert it into your Divi site. Once you sign up for Divi Gear, we're going to log into our dashboard area. We're gonna to go to download. You'll download the single site license. It goes right here to your Chrome browser. And then you're going to need to click into orders and get your API key so that you can get updates and they can make sure that you really bought this thing. So again, that's under orders. Your API key is gonna be right here. Just copy and paste it and then we'll have it when we set up the WordPress plugin. Now let's go into our website. Here I am on our WordPress backend for the site. We're just going to do plugins, add new, up top. That zip file we just downloaded, it's gonna go right here. Here it is under my downloads. Open it, install now, activate. And lo and behold, bottom left of the screen is our new Divi Gear plugin. All we have to do is go in, paste our API key right here, click activate, save changes, and we're good. If you want, you can go to the documentation. It'll answer a few frequently asked questions, but the best part of this is watching this tutorial. This tutorial is actually pretty in-depth and will take you exactly through how to use the carousel module. It's only about four and a half minutes and it's super easy to use. 
Another cool thing Divi Gear does is gives you the option to do a feature request. I had a few requests that I would have liked to have made after using this, which we'll get to in a second, but it's always good to know that a company is listening to your feedback and wanting to make their products better. So A plus Divi Gear, good job on that. So now we've got the plugin installed, the API key put in. Let's import those layouts that we just got from the Divi Gear demo page, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to Divi, go to the Divi library, and we're gonna import those JSON layouts. Import and export. We're gonna import right here. Choose the file, it's gonna be this Divi Carousel layout file. Open it, it's being built right now. We don't have to do anything, that's the beauty of Divi. If you wanna watch a little bit more about how to build a Divi website, check out this video right here. Watch it and it will show you step-by-step -step how to build a Divi website. Anyhow, import the Divi Builder layouts right here. It takes 10 seconds, depending on your connection speed. Then when it loads, it is right here. You'll also notice a second one here. That's because this is the second time I shot this scene and the first time I messed up. So now the plugin's in, we've got our layouts in, let's actually build one of these things, okay? So let me get in my test page where I do all my experimental testing for my websites. Here we are on the demo page. Director's note, if you're detecting uh, elements of Spanish music, it's because my neighbors outside are listening to Spanish music very loudly today for some reason. So we're in our Divi Tinkering page. Let's add the section, it's a section in this case, of the carousel layout right here. And boom, it's built. That thing that we just saw on the demo page is already in here and we can go in and start making edits. The cool thing about Divi Gear 2 is that all of this is compatible with the visual builder and the backend builder. So you don't have like wonky looking visual builders that some plugins have. Essentially what Divi Gear has done is they've taken a slider module and kind of added a few sections to it to give it a lot more customizability. So let's go into actually making one of these things, all right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new row. I'm going to just make it a single row. I'm going to scroll down to the Divi Carousel, which is that plugin that we just downloaded. It's what we're talking about for the last five minutes. And here it has been created. So let's go ahead and add an item. Let's call it slide one. Let's add a button. Now here's one of the problems is that padding is not added automatically. So you do get a little bit of cutoff right here under this button. All you have to do to fix that is add some padding. It would be nice to include that from the get-go though so you don't have to put in the padding. Just a small thing. Let's change the background. Let's do a picture and let's just pick something like this. Let's make it use the parallax effect. Actually, a little overblown at this point. So you'll also see with this module very similar controls to any other Divi module, so it's easy to get around. Let's style this up just a little bit. Let's make the text white, make the content white. We'll use custom styles for the button. We'll make the text white, and then we'll make the background this red. And then we kind of need to add spacing in here, right? See how it's all kind of like pressed against each other in that button? So let's add a little bit of spacing. Let's see if it's easy to do this. So I'm just gonna give it one view height on all this stuff right here. Kind of coming in a little bit, let's give the content some. So now what I wanna do is I wanna duplicate these. Let's say I wanted to do like four or something. So you're just gonna hit duplicate. Then you can go in and edit those. Let's do that really quickly. There we go, so far pretty easy but these aren't the same heights. Notice how this panel is a little bit smaller. Here are the two sections that basically Divi Gear has added to this to make it more customizable, and these sections will fix those incompatibilities in height. So the first one is slider settings. Here you can control how many items show on the desktop, so if we only wanted to show two, there's that, but we wanna show all four. This plugin's also mobile responsive, so you can show items on a tablet and mobile as well, so you can show it in a column of three, and then one, let's say. You can also choose the transition duration here. So if you want it to take like, let's say two seconds to move by, which is pretty slowly, probably don't wanna do that, you would change that right there, that's in milliseconds. You can also opt to slide from the center. See how this is all spread across the screen? If you click center slide, it will start in the middle and then move to the side like that and it's gonna look great. You can also choose whether you want to loop these and you can also auto play them. Auto playing does not work on the visual builder, but if you go to it on a regular page where you're not signed into the visual builder, 
You'll see the autoplay. It looks smooth. It looks really nice. You can also pause the autoplay on hover if you wanted to, and you can show how fast you want it to move. That's not miles per hour. That is, I don't know what that would be. What would that measurement be? Pixels per second? Finally, you can add some arrow navigation on the side, so you can see those arrows coming in when you hover over. You can also ask them to go outside. You can also choose dot navigation, which will add the dots down here. So where to align the dots, how far to space the items apart, so you can see that these are moving your panels. And here is where you can add the equal height to make them all look good. Another super cool feature of this is the lazy loading. So lazy loading helps with your page speed because it won't load images until someone gets almost to it. So it speeds up your load time. So you can opt to do lazy loading, which you should probably be doing if we're being honest. And that takes care of the slider settings. Now remember how I said there are two sections? Think of it like this. Your slider settings right here are going to be how your carousel looks before any interactivity, before any engagement from a user. The advanced slider settings are going to be what happens once the carousel's been engaged. So once someone flicks it or clicks it or touches it, what's going to happen? You'll also notice that there are a lot fewer selections in here for this. So if we click advanced slider, here's the default, which just kind of scrolls nice and horizontally, but to get that cover flow effect, like in the old iTunes thing, you choose cover flow and then all of a sudden it turns your panels like this so it looks like they're kind of like 3D flying through. Seriously, probably one of the coolest effects I've ever seen on a carousel module. You can choose whether you want a shadow or not, see how it kind of provides a little gradient in there, and then you can choose how much you want to rotate any panels that aren't center of screen, like focus on slide four right here. If I rotate it this way, you can see that this button just rotates slide four either way and shows you how exaggerated the effect is as you're scrolling around. So a lot of stuff's really well thought out here. And like I said, if you use a little custom CSS, you can actually make this look super rad. So that's basically the plugin. You can obviously use any sort of pictures you want, but it adds a lot of really cool micro engagements. Carousels often have a lot of mobile compatibility problems. So let's test and see how this one looks. So here's our page live and in the wild, looks fine on desktop. But if I go to a mobile screen, let's say an iPhone 6, and we scroll down, it still looks really good. The dots are still there, the arrows are missing, but if I was like using my finger on the screen, it can flip through. And also, it looks really good down here too. We're still getting that cover flow effect, and it's mobile responsive. So this plugin actually did a really good job for phones and tablets. So yeah, overall, I would recommend this plugin. Uh, I think it's a good plugin for the money. It lets you easily spice up your carousel sliders to help clients remember your site and increase the chances of them coming back, which is really good, which is what you want to do. Um, it also provides the opportunity to give them a potential wow moment. So if you're really looking to create an impression on a client, this plugin can really help stand out. You could use it for a portfolio. You could use it to like showcase pieces of art you've done or products you've created, things like that in a 3D way. Pros of this plugin. I like the uh, cover flow effects um, and the option for the infinite loop and the autoplay. I think that's really helpful. I love that it has built-in lazy loading. That means they're thinking about page speed, which means that there was uh, some forethought put into creating this plugin. I like that you can add in the dot navigation or arrows to show the direction or length so people know how long of a carousel they're getting themselves into. And I also love that you can download the layouts on the demo page because I saw a few that were like, I don't know how to recreate that and they just provide the download for you. That's really good on you, Divi Gear. So what are some of the things I didn't like about this plugin? As we saw with the padding, there are a few very minor compatibility issues with the Visual Builder. When I first downloaded it, duplicating the slides was not working correctly, but it was fine after an update. So if you're having the same problem where the slider won't duplicate or won't copy correctly, make sure you've got the latest version of the plugin. It took me a second to figure that out. The other thing I think Divi Gear should add in are test explainers on the new module control. So there were a few controls. I was not sure what they did or what they altered um, the elements on my page, so I had to email the company to ask what those controls were. You also can't add videos yet. You can just add like solid colors, images, things like that. Supposedly, they're working on being able to incorporate that, so hopefully that will change by the time you watch this. Final thoughts and advice. Carousels can be a really cool, engaging effect, but don't overuse it. If you're like carouseling up the whole site, people are gonna be like, this is really weird and there's way too much going on. Don't overuse it. Also try to get away from the typical ones you see. A lot of times it'll be just pictures that 
slide on through. This is why I like the plugin because it spices it up. Try to get away from the typical ones you see. Remember when Coverflow came out on iTunes and we were all like, oh, that's amazing, that's really cool. Think about that with your website carousels too. You want them to be unique. Don't just throw photos down and be like, look, you can touch it. Go for some sort of animation that can be remembered. You can get some really cool effects with smaller ones like half screen ones, which is like that one we checked out at the beginning where you had kind of two carousels going in tandem with each other. Just adds a little bit of a uniqueness to something that can be a little overused. If you're interested in getting the Divi Gear carousel plugin, you can click the description below. It'll take you right to it and you can check it out. I give this a thumbs up plugin. Thanks for watching.